So these guys have been warmed up, ready to go, and they're just going to dive right into it. It looks like they're just going to agree straight to Smashville. Fitz pumping right away, and two Ryus on both teams. So we're already going to get ourselves a taste of what's coming in the saga, being the Ryu saga. That's right. This being SCR saga, we have a, we have a ton of Ryus, but we can talk about more about that later. Right now, we got game one of the first set of doubles here on ESA Smash. And already, Petrino taking point for the green team, giving Nathan a bit of time to build up limit, and otherwise play defensively. Just like that, we see Sinibu already beelining it right for Nathan, trying to get rid of that cloud. Cheek having such an easy time gimping Cloud. And the Ryus are going <laughs> at it. Not even caring about their partners. <laughs> like, look at the damage the Ryus have taken. The character hits like a truck, and when they're going directly for each other, it really shows. You can see, really see the Ryu on Ryu. Hey. Right yeah. now, though, Nathan builds up nice stage control for the other team. Yellow stuck on the ledge. Not oh. even opting to get a limit yet, but now limit online. So Nathan going to have that good recovery and the... The other uh, kill options. Yeah, exactly. It's confirmed of whatever Petrino sets up will kill the team at this uh, yellow team at this percent. Oh, oh full focus! Hit all yeah. three. <laughs> and that's a two for one special from Petrino. Wow! And that is the thing with juggling Ryu is in any game mode you have to hit him multiple times to break his focus. If you're trying to disrupt it with just a single up smash hit, it's not going to do the trick. No, no, it's not. We saw Nathan actually try and take another easy stock, but with low percents and Ryu being so heavy, it's not going to work out. Using that quick hitbox of the up B to get out of that situation, only to get scooped up and up aired by uh, Sinibu. And already one difference I'm seeing in these two teams is Yellow Team gets clumped up a lot more often than Green Team, so they're eating the same punish simultaneously. Yes, they are. Green Team is staying separate, like right now. Once again, Yellow Team got a little bit too close, but this time, uh, Boost got away a little bit soon enough. Okay, another quick up B to get out of the situation. Now, Nathan getting stuck in the fray. Needs to be careful. Oh, that tattoo not quite gonna fill in on Petrino. Manages to make it back even after the attempt of disruption by Sinibu. Oh, and that's gonna be a miss input from Balance. That's actually gonna cost his stock. Oh, very unfortunate for, uh, for Yellow Team. And immediately, I like that Petrino drops his edgeguard attempt on Sheik, being a tough character to edgeguard, and goes to his teammate's defense because he's getting comboed by Ryu. That was up tilt to Shoryu, but it was the wrong person Shoryuing. See, Nathan needs to be a little bit careful. He, uh, whenever he's getting this limit, when I understand that green team was in the lead, but he's using it uh, a little too over aggressive. <laughs> he's over aggressive with his limit. Yeah, limit is such a strong tool in doubles, but you have to make sure you actually get that proper stock value. You either save your own stock with it, or you actually finish off an opponent's stock. Anything less than that, and you're not getting good money for it. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. Good dash attack onto uh, City Boo. And another SD coming out from Balance. Very unfortunate stuff. They actually had the lead at that point, but now it is slight green advantage. It's really just a matter of which team can take the stock first, whether it's going to be Petrino falling or Sinibu. Okay, and I, I respect that from Balance. He got the fully charged uh, focus attack, but instead of uh, going for the true shoryuken and killing Petrino, uh, he might have taken his, his friend's uh, stock as well, so don't want to go for that option. This is, of course, the painful moment when you're against a team. Ooh, but never mind. The limit gets spent on a blade beam that whiffs on Balance. A second lease on life. Using sure you can just holding down, getting past that recovery. Woo! Back air connecting. Disrupting that forward smash. Getting Petrino off stage. She's not able to find an opening on Nathan, but Balance still living. I mean, look at Na uh, at Petrino's percent right now. He can actually die to one mistake, and Balance can make this into a 1v1. Oh, oh. another miss input. Three stocks. That is so unfortunate for the yellow team. Like, I think the yellow team can actually take the set. Like, oh yeah, they definitely can. If, uh, as long as, uh, balance continues. Stays balanced yeah. on the stage. Yeah. That's really the, the, the number one determiner. He's been falling off, uh, getting pineappled on Smashville, of all places. And, I mean, you should, you should never get pineapple on Smashville. Yeah. But I think the worst one was he had jumped up and, uh, tattooed off stage, double jumped back, and then did the Shoryuken, and just... He didn't make it. Yeah. Whoa. And wow, a counterpick by Green Team Petrino going cloud for the double cloud special.
Now, if we've seen anything from Double Clouds, everybody knows how broken this team is. If you've ever watched Como and Leo play this team, they... It's it's unbelievable how good that team can be. I mean, you and I were talking about this last night. I'm not sure they've ever dropped a tournament when they were going Double Clouds together, so... Definitely has been shown to be viable at the highest, most level. I am curious to see why Nathan did opt for this counter pick, uh, but in any case, it's still a fantastic doubles character, and right now they're playing on the pressure really thick on the yellow team. It's a great down air to Shore you can coming out from balance. Oh, wow. Yellow team now actually taking that stage control, getting both clouds near death percent, but both clouds do have limits, so it ends up being a close to even game. Never mind, True Shore you closing out the first stock with an up air to, uh, to add onto it onto Nathan. The green team needs to make uh, something with these double clouds. Okay, landing the down smash onto balance. That'll make up for the stock that was lost. Yeah, that was a good down smash too because it was a way to break through focus on a Ooh. landing mix up. Right that, now. Was, that was actually really smart from Cinny Button. Uh, balance, or no, I'm sorry, Petrino went to you get the, the grab release yeah. with a uh, with finishing touch. And uh, Cinnabon actually used the hitbox from the throw to counter it. Oh, just clash. Clever stuff, yeah. Being able to stay alive just a little bit longer. You know, I think part of the reason uh, they both maybe went cloud is just because of uh, cross slash being able to break through focus instead of dealing with that Ryu mirror where okay. he was being evenly torn apart by balance. Petrino now with cloud is finding himself in a better situation when he's in those 1v1s. Yeah. Yeah, S-Match will connect onto Balance, and uh, Team Cloud is bringing it right back. Ooh, just as I say that, Balance is getting that revenge stock. Yeah, up tilt is strong, up tilt. Yellow team with the slightest of leads. Any boy oh. needs to be careful. Oh, no! That's so unfortunate. He tried to cancel the uh, charge limit, yeah. but instead pushing it right when he got limit, and just whiffing a finishing touch in the bottom right stage. Yeah, it's such an unfortunate thing where you charge up limit while you're off stage because it's free time to get it. And it can even give you a limit climb hazard to make it on stage easier, but the worst way to go right now, though the green team actually in a pretty doable situation. It just relies on Nathan being able to keep his stock together. Right, Nathan just continues to get hit. He's playing a little bit more defensive. Okay, so we get to see a little bit of team uh, teamwork from Team Cloud. Yeah, a little bit of ping pong action. And right now, though, the carry off happens by Sydney Boy, closing out Petrino's stock immediately. Just 130% Cloud left for the green team. Nice confirm right there. Back throw into up air, and Sydney Boy immediately starts taunting the moment he did the back <laughs> throw. He knew this was all going to connect. That's a rehearsed double team. Yep. That's a. Uh... Definitely looked like Balance was a little bit more comfortable in that in that matchup. He didn't SD at all that time. He didn't time. SD at all. Yeah. So, uh, in fact, the SD was on the other team this time. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately so. Now, I'm not too sure. I mean, Double Cloud, we've seen it work before. But with how good uh, Sinibu was at just carrying the clouds off stage, yeah. and even approaching them and challenging them off stage mm -hmm. on their recovery,s I would definitely go back to a cloud. And it hey, one cloud, one Ryu. Oh yeah, and that looks like what they're weighing over right now. Petrino already clicking back on Ryu. Nathan sticking with Cloud, but going for the uh, Advin Children skin. Mm -hmm. Now if it goes down to it, Petrino should be the one that's pulling back and playing a little bit more of a support, the supportive role. Yeah. Let uh, let uh, Petrino go in and be, you know, be the world warrior. Let him be the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> then you, you have Cloud's incredible fast movement speed. If things go wrong for Petrino when he goes in, Cloud can immediately be there and disrupt their combo with his huge sword. Exactly. Nathan just kicking a bunch of people with that Tatsumaki. Right now, Petrino eating a ton of abuse. Yeah, ever after that first game, it looked like a, a rough warm-up game for Yellow Team because they've had it together since then. Yes, making quick work of uh, Petrino's Ryu. And Sinibu just gets that nair into a bouncing fish. Oh, I like that focus punish too on Petrino. Right now, Balance again go opting for this Ryu mirror. One. Living Sinibu with the situation that he was shown to be good at last game. Edge Garden Cloud over and over again. Yes, Cloud just having a tough time finally landing his. being able to touch the ground. Only to get knocked in the air once again. True throw, you can come in after Petrino. That was such incredible timing too, because it was right when the focus was released. If he did it a little bit too soon, he would have been in a full focus on it. Right now, just 
ton of projectile pressure on Petrino. Onto uh, both the clouds, as. Yeah, actually. Oh, wow. That was an interesting move from Nathan. He tried to use the uh, Clint Hazard to actually disrupt Sinabu's recovery. That was a tough situation for Nathan. I think at that point you can't really hold the ledge when you're closed in that much by a Ryu at your back. No, you can't. But with a uh, full rage on Nathan and Patron, these two players are looking extremely bloody. Oh, it's just immediate. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Clean, just clean up all those stocks. We're seeing Shoryuken's coming out and an up smash from Sinabu. I, I love just the guts on like full rage Ryu just runs up and true Shoryuken's both members of the enemy team. No setup or anything. None needed as a, as you can just see. <laughs> Another wow. S smash coming out from Nathan. These S smashes are catching his opponent. Right now, Sinibu just on the ledge at 103%. Actually, it's close to even game if you just give it a stock glance. And I think Sinibu right now is just trying to get the most value, but oh, gets caught by that limit cross slash, and that'll be it for that stock. Yeah, he actually hit both members of Yellow Team. And now Nathan stuck on the left side of the stage. Sinibu not opting to, to, to challenge Nathan, but in fact, focusing on Patron. Yeah, uh, one thing that uh, Sinibu was doing there is he was Tazi is like he's doing right now, and that's giving the cover that Balance needs to make it work in the neutral. When he approaches himself, that's when he gets picked off by these really powerhouses with Cloud and Ryu, and he loses his stocks really fast. I'd like to see him stay holding back in these scenarios. And surprisingly enough, uh, Petrino was the one that actually lost that, that trade. Hmm. Balance still making it on 160%. Zinibu now trying to take this point himself, knowing that his teammate will die if he gets caught by Cloud. Just throwing out uh, anti-air up tilt, <laughs> just in case. Hey man, you never know. What if, what if Nathan runs into it? No, Nathan actually runs and catches him with an up smash just at the moment, recognizing that all that uh, all that Balance was doing was just the up tilt. So that's gonna lose to an up smash. It's a huge disjoint. Eric, it's come down to one v one. Sinibu versus Nathan. Oh, oh and he gets the air dodge read and lands a finishing touch. That was beautiful. He gets the forward air spike right afterwards. Converts into falling up air, way through the air dodge, and gets the finishing touch. What a flashy way to close out that set. And it looks like. Green Flash. team is going to move on. Flashy indeed, as yeah. he 